Welcome everybody to Adventures in Second Life with Jazz and Kitty. And today is our usual December the 19th. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Drama Libre presents. And so I am here at the fabulous Drama Libre landing spot. Ta da! There I am in my lovely new outfit that I got at the Mix event. And uh, it came with its super cute little hat. I love that hat. <laughs> with the little blinky lights. I think that hat is awesome. <laughs> and it actually has three dresses. This is just one of the three. But it seemed to fit because it had little Christmas trees on it. Ta -da! So anyway, here we are at Drama Libre and their event this Christmas is the last one of the year. So we are hanging out here and uh, unfortunately Jazz could not be with me tonight but that does not mean that she is not busy doing her Christmas cheer <laughs> here there and everywhere <laughs> as am I so um, I I know that she's uh, cheering us on or cheering me on me and my, me and my me and my hat <laughs> so we hang here at Drama Libre all right so let's go ahead and head on in and I will start walking in a second. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, first steps. <laughs> Today has been an interesting day. Of course, they have the Santa Advent calendar, which I may have not mentioned, but that's still here. And it still goes strong until the 24th of December. And of course, I'm going to, in the meantime, of course, make sure that. Um, I send uh, Xerxes the link to this uh, event, um, this live stream, just so that he can catch it. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. Making sure that that's getting sent out. As you can see, the party is raging at the moment. Everybody is up at the lonely spot and dancing their little hearts away to the fabulous music that is playing by our DJ, Rinaldo de Bethic. So, here we go. And I'm doing a quick pause here just to remind everybody that, of course, the um, they are doing the winter skate here at Drama Libre, and we just passed the chair in order to get into the winter skate and of course look at their lovely decor they have this lovely tree here um so they're they've gone all out with that tree and but if you move back a little bit there you'll see the chair and that chair lift will take you all the way across the mountain into the winter skate area oops excuse the bad angles they are all over the place oh wait what is that it looks like an empty sleigh. <gasps> no, it's not an empty sleigh. There's Santa. And of course, more bad angles. <laughs> I'm so good at that. I'm an artisan in bad camera angles. <laughs> Thank God there are little triggers that set, 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 the, uh, set everything back. All right, so now we're going to go up, but let's go ahead and meet the winners for tonight, for uh, last week's event, which looks like we had first, second, and, place, and third place winners, which were Cran, Musical, and I can't for some reason read that name, I don't know why, um, Alicia, excuse me, Alicia. So, uh, that's who won, and of course, as you can see, we are doing Christmas, Drama Libre presents Christmas in Whoville this week, which is an exciting time period. Now, you know the funniest thing? I never knew about Krampus until I came to this event. Apparently, Krampus is this uh, Santa helper who's kind of like Elf on the Shelf, but a little more intimidating. And they help the children be good for Christmas. And there we go. We're going to go ahead and take our teleport down. Oops! have to fix those alphas. Fair warning. Always fix the alphas and check your dress. <laughs> the last thing you want is is a scary butt shot. <laughs> oh! Where did I land? Where did I land? <gasps> I landed in the chimney. Oh my goodness. Thank God I didn't get burned. Alright, it looks like 
There's a little path. Okay, where's the path gonna take us? Uh, let's see. Oh, touch to get up to the party. Oh, well, I'm fixing my alphas, of course. Let's make sure to get those done. No more accidents. <laughs> Oh, look at me climbing! Dun dun dun. <laughs> Alright, it looks like the party is going strong. I need to find a spot. I need to find the dance desk. Let's see where that might be. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I see green eggs and ham. Oh, look at so funny look at that we have a blinky we have a blinky thingy a blinky uh, fireplace that is cool right so we have to look for our dance desk and see where we find that Usually it's on the table or on the ground, but it's a fairly busy table. There's a lot on it, so I have a feeling they moved it to another spot. Oh, look! There it is! On the far wall next to the tree. <clears throat> Basically what that dance disc does is it has everybody dancing in the same dances, which is fun. So you get to join everybody doing the same routine. Just FYI, for those of you who don't necessarily go dancing or like to see things synchronized, all you need to do is click Control S, and that synchronizes everybody if they're doing the same dance on the screen. It's a cool little trick that I actually like to use. But look at that. We have green eggs and ham. We have this lovely tree with the little blinky bulbs. I love that. We've got, <laughs> we've got a turkey with the tail. <laughs> And everybody usually is a very talk. This is a very talkative crowd, which is nice. So people come in and they don't just do. They don't just go AFK. They come in. They dance. They talk. Um, sometimes they you, you hear cool stuff like trivia and all sorts of funky stuff. Um, you learn about the history of Dr. Seuss sometimes, which is unexpected but actually quite fun. Just depends on who your DJ is. The DJ for this event is Ronaldo de Bivic, and. We're gonna have to put the names up in a minute because I'm I'm getting uber curious about all the fabulous people here, and it looks like somebody's been near the tree and been attacking the prezies. Look at that! Yeah, because boxes look like they're open and all sorts. Of, oh oh oh! <laughs> oh. That's the after Christmas glow. That kid has obviously gotten a lot of really great presents and is happy. <laughs> and it's snowing outside of the Scooville estate. I mean, I love every year, every time they come up with something new, they either get a suggestion from someone or they, within the group, come up with a, come up with a theme. They have these set up months in advance. They have yet to repeat a theme. And each theme has its own unique, you know, sense of self. Oh, there we go. Names. All right, guys. Now we know who we're hanging with. This is important and this is helpful because we get to see who the cool um, costumes are. And of course, I want to check out what our host and our hostess with the mostess came in as because that is one of the most exciting parts of this event for me. It's like I, I always get such a kick out of seeing them dress up. And look at that! Look at that! They came as thing one and thing too. Ta-da! How cute is that? 
And there is Musical Faye dancing with them. So cool. So that is Xerxes and Peachy who created this event and then have worked with uh, wonderful people like this, like our builder. And look, see that lovely Horton Here's a Who? Horton Here's a Who is none other than Ronaldo de Bebek, our DJ of the night. And he is a builder here at Drama Libre. Here we got Zinta, Alicia, and we've got a pavilion right there, all dolled up in her pavilion vest, which is Eleanor Gina. And then we've got Cindy Who. Hey, Cindy. All dolled up also. Naive and sweet Cindy Lou, and then a green eggs and ham, and we've got so many cool people. I mean, it's amazing how this all works out. So, I love this. I love this look. I love that Mary went all out and did the little band and the wreath and the whole nine yards. And if you pull a little further back. Well, you'll see a little bit later. I'll bring it up. But um, Mary always goes all out, too. And there's Sands. And excuse the little legs. Sometimes there's my computer reacts in such a way that it brings up stuff. <laughs> As I'm closing out windows. So we have Tootsie Pop and... No Nono's one of my favorites. No No always brings it because they always change their name specifically and bring their creativity to the event, which I absolutely love. Um, so No No, it really does come in character for every one of these, which I think is really so clever and just one of the great ways, one of the exciting ways that you see people uh, respond to these events at Drama Libre. Mystic and Randall, and we've got Star Pugilist as a pavilion. Not a who villain, a who villain. <laughs> oh, actually, you know, I was incorrect. The person who's coming in as this Tiger Lou Villada with her own little Grinch. And of course, our intrepid builder, Kathy Ryder in her Christmas PJs. And she's clearly quite happy in her Christmas PJs. Ebenezer Pixel doing his solo for the evening. Ta-da! And there is Ronaldo de Bebek. I was actually incorrect about Horton Here's Who. This is Ronaldo, our DJ for the night, as the Grinch is puppy! And he is also one of the intrepid builders here at Trauma Libre. Ta-da! There's Rendall. And there's Mystic with her Grinch friend. And that's Magda coming up.
I met our fairy friend, Cassie. And Cherry, which is also Jada Finster. Yummy and Tootsie Pop. <coughs> Some very fun dances tonight. Another Cindy Who. And look at how cute. I love that chandelier. Look at how cute that is with the, with the um, lights and the mistletoe hanging from it. That is so cool. Very, very cool. Now we do have a contest every event and the contest is uh, usually opens up at around nine o'clock, which is very cool. And as you can see, we're gonna maybe potentially focus in on the contest board so that you guys can see what the prize is maybe a little bit later. And of course, last but not least, H Talks and Love over in the corner. So it's a very busy party, but it's awesome because, you know, people are always trying to find events that are, you know, well attended. And this is one of the great places where you can actually, it's a great start off point because it's very drama-free, very friendly, and very text-friendly. And of course, there was the boards for our DJ and the club, and then that's the contest board, and our contest, of course, is being obsolete children, and then twenty-six seventy-nine is the Lindens for that contest. Now, keep in mind if someone adds to that contest board, that goes up, and that's shared between the three winners. I'm I'm still love I love this chimney. That little those little eyes picking up in the chimney kills me every time. It is so darn clever. And look at how cute Mary has little. <laughs> little mistletoe hanging over her head. That is just too cute. That that kills me. So green eggs and ham, obviously for dinner, in a cor and also a turkey with the tail. <laughs> on a fabulous table in somebody in, in a Whovillian's house. And it's nice and warm on the inside, snowing on the outside. And this table reminds me of my family a little bit. Because if you notice the chairs don't match, I, we had a table for decades when I was younger where the chairs never matched the table. It's just a, I think, and, and I think that happens in a lot of places. You know, you, you end up having chairs, some of them last longer than others. <laughs> and that's it, you know. <laughs> so you kind of mix it up. And sometimes it just makes it more fun that way. Because, you know, everybody has their own preferred chair. <laughs> I remember I had a favorite chair from <laughs> growing up. And the nice thing is there's so much to choose from. You've got the little purple chair, the red one, a couple of yellows. Oh, and it's just so, there's so much stuff. It's hilarious. I do. I love that chandelier. That is the coolest thing ever with the mistletoe. There are so many talented artists. That's the thing about Second Life. I mean, 
there's so many talented virtual artists who create stuff and bring it in and then they um, you know and then you see it all expressed in different builds some some of the, a lot of this stuff is self-created I mean that people are digital artists and then they decide to learn their craft and then bring it in and then start selling the product which is really clever um, you know it's amazing how that works out and you know it's very amazing <laughs> well, and then there's there's Muse Fay Muse, actually not Muse Fay Muse, uh, who is a, a has a Flickr account and actually photographs some of the, some of this event and stuff, which is cool. And she posts on the Flickr. There's our turkey with the tail. I love that tree, it's fun. That chimney kills me, I swear, look at that. The peaky chimney. <laughs> well guys, it is amazing. I can't believe this is Drama Libre's last party of the season, but it is. And it looks like uh, they're going to just relax for until the new year, which is awesome. Um, I'm actually looking forward to the next week. It's going to be busy, but fun. And I, I just am so impressed by um, all the effort people put in. Drama Libre has not repeated a theme in 13 years, or actually ever. And so the cool thing is that these parties are set in advance, sometimes months in advance. Um, and they come up with different themes every time. So the coolest thing I think is that they actually offer for a distinctive theme that you that that's reasonably thought out. What they do is they uh, have have you submit a note card, and then if they accept the theme, you actually win a prize on the day that they actually do that party. So I think that's it, everybody, for this edition of Drama Libre Presents. It has been a pleasure having you guys tune in and check out these videos every week. I enjoy doing these lives every week and I know Jazz does too and I am so looking forward to uh, next year and showcasing all of the amazing builds and all of the amazing concepts that come together from Drama Libre because they always bring the best to the table. Um, have a fabulous holiday. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year <laughs> to all of you. And that's it. I'm out for the night. So catch you on the flip.